What is PyTorch and why 50% of the data scientists are naturally driven towards using this Python framework? The reason is this framework itself is used to develop world's top-notch AI products like Tesla's Autopilot mode, Stable Diffusion model, OpenAI's ChatGPT, Meta's Llama AI and many more. It also allows quicker prototyping than any other deep learning framework out there, making it the top choice. In this video, we are going to decode what this PyTorch framework is all about. But before we do that, do subscribe to the IntelliPath YouTube channel. PyTorch is one of the best Python frameworks out there when it comes to creating deep learning models. It was developed in 2016 by Facebook's AI research group, now known as Meta AI. Though it is kind of a recent development, the framework itself is derived from the Torch library available within the Lua programming language, which dates back to 2002. I know you must have not even heard about the programming language, but there are debates out there on the internet about the fact that Lua is faster than Python. So if you were to learn PyTorch, you don't have to learn any different syntax or programming structure. Rather, all you have to do is just understand the inbuilt methods and the core PyTorch data type, tensors. Tensor is one of the most prominent features or you can say a data type that PyTorch brings to the table. Tensors are basically the multidimensional form of arrays that can be used to represent the data. We've discussed tensors in detail in one of our other videos. You can go ahead and watch it and build a deeper understanding. Moving on, the next important highlight of PyTorch is parallel computing. So instead of running your code on a local CPU, for higher performance, you can just go ahead and run it on the GPU with the help of CUDA support. CUDA is a technology created by NVIDIA, a company which is known for developing the GPUs. It basically lets your program use the GPU to do lots of calculations very quickly. Moreover, tools and libraries like Torch Text, Torch Vision, and Torch Audio within PyTorch allow solving these problems with pre-built model architecture. But why do developers love PyTorch so much? Well, as I mentioned at the start of the video, PyTorch allows fast prototyping. This means PyTorch offers dynamic computational graphs, which let developers define and modify models during runtime itself. It works by creating a graph of functions that track all operations done on tensors, allowing you to change the shape, size, and operations after every iteration, giving you complete control over the performance and fine tuning. That's the reason why cutting-edge AI products that require high accuracy, such as Tesla's autopilot mode, have been built using this particular framework itself. With PyTorch, you can easily work on image recognition, computer vision, speech recognition, and language processing problems with utter ease and speed. Now, those were the features that PyTorch has to offer. Now, let's go one step ahead and understand how a PyTorch workflow looks like. In order to begin with the model training process, we will first need to import our dataset. This can be achieved by the datasets and data loaders classes in PyTorch. The next step is to build the model. This is achieved simply by passing the data in the neural network or the computation graph with the help of forward pass. Once this is out of the way, we proceed with minimizing the loss function or the cost function with the help of back propagation. This method is made super easy in PyTorch by the autograd method as it provides automatic differentiation of the gradients. Lastly, we test, validate, and save the model using the dot save method. We can always continue to further train the model and improve it using the load method in PyTorch. I hope this brief overview of PyTorch framework is clear to you. We are going to cover each and every component of PyTorch in detail in the coming time. So ensure staying tuned with our channel. Thank you for being here till the end. See you in the next video.